Hey everybody, Ashton here again with Gensent. I'm actually going on a vacation here in the next couple of days, uh, so I figured I'd put together a video about taking your cologne, perfume, fragrance, whatever, with you on vacation. A bunch of different options that you have, uh, so hopefully one of those will work best for you. Maybe give you some information you didn't have before that will allow you to do things a little easier the next time you take a trip. Uh, so I'm going to bring the camera in close on some of this stuff when I show you like how I do decants for myself and things um, and other times I'll leave it out uh, if it's not something where you need to be looking in close. So let's go ahead and jump right in and we'll look at each different option that you have for taking your fragrances with you on a vacation. The first thing you could do is to just take the entire bottle with you, but that's also the most dangerous because the bottle could break, the bottle could leak, uh, a lot of different things could happen there that are not good. I believe that if you're flying you can take a bottle in your carry-on as long as it's under 100 milliliters, but double check that just to be safe. If you do decide to go ahead and take the full bottle, I would put it inside a Ziploc bag. Uh, I wouldn't really bubble wrap it because if it leaks at all, the bubbles will actually leave a lasting imprint on the bottle. I actually uh, received one in the mail once that leaked a little bit in transit and it was only the, the bottle. And now it has little bubble wrap marks all over the bottle and they will never come off. Um, so yeah, I would put it in a Ziploc bag. If you're putting it in a suitcase, maybe put it in the middle of a bunch of clothing, something like that, whatever you can do to cushion it. Uh, again, I don't really recommend that, but that's an option. You can just pick one or two of your favorites, make sure they're bundled nice and neat uh, in a Ziploc bag, and away you go. Maybe just be careful with your suitcase if you do that. Another option that you have is to go with carded samples like these that either you have lying around or that you purchase from a website like Twisted Lily, Parfum One, um, Lucky Scent, anything like that, or a discovery kit and then just pack those into your, your luggage and take them that way. Uh, discovery kits are nice because it's all self-contained. I talked about that in an earlier video. I actually brought this one with me on vacation to Virginia Beach last year, tested each one of the Olfactive Studio scents and figured out which ones I like the most. So that's one thing you could do, kind of an experiment while you're on vacation. And uh, carded samples are just super easy uh, to travel with because they're so small and lightweight and they have enough for a few wearings in there. So that's an option, especially if you have a bunch laying around from different purchases that you've done. Another option is depending on which fragrance it is, a lot of houses make these little travel sprays. This is Atelier Cologne Pomelo Paradise. This is what's really basically a decant of uh, Pharrell Williams Girl that I got from TJ Maxx for like $6. But a lot of companies will make bottles that are in this size, like a uh, one ounce, 30 milliliter bottle. John Barbados, a lot of his, they have travel sprays. So if you really like a particular fragrance, if you're the type of person that really only wears a few different fragrances that are your go-tos and those are the ones that you'd be wearing while you go on vacation, you could invest in a travel spray and just bring that with you. They're usually made specifically for travel, so they're really easy to pack and uh, roll with and a lot of times they come with kind of a hard plastic case instead of glass this one is glass but a lot of times it's hard plastic so you don't have to worry about it shattering so that's going to bring us to the main topic of the video which is decanting now, a lot of people uh, are aware of these this is a travalo they come in uh, four milliliters i believe most of the time the way they work is you would take off the atomizer and then you would insert this uh, section at the bottom into the atomizer and basically pump the uh, fragrance into the Travalo and then you can just take it and uh, spray it on as needed. I don't really like Travalos, I don't really use them. Uh, if you get one of the cheaper ones from eBay then a lot of times they'll leak from the bottom so you'll end up filling it up and then you'll be like okay I'm good to go and then you'll notice it starts just dripping from the bottom and there's not really too much you can do about that. It's a pain in the ass. So if you're gonna go the Travalo route, I would just buy a legitimate Travalo instead of one of the knockoffs. The issue with that is a Travalo is usually between five and $10 per each one and they only hold four milliliters. Then you can't really clean it out so you're stuck using the same fragrance in that Travalo over and over again. So it's an option and it's convenient, but it's not really cost effective and I don't really like going that route, so I don't use Travalos personally. Now, there are a ton of websites that sell decants. 
Uh, these came from my perfume samples. They come in these little plastic decants, uh, which I don't really enjoy the plastic decants. Some people do. They have great atomizers, as you'll see here, I'm sure. It sprays out a lot. So that's a positive. The negative is these plastic atomizers have issues with evaporation. So you could have this filled to the top and let's say you only use a few sprays and you sit it back and say, I'll use it a few months from now. It will actually start evaporating. So you'll start losing a lot of the juice even though you haven't used it. And that's an issue. That kind of sucks. And uh, some people also say that plastic atomizers um, will kind of mess up the scent itself, that parts of the plastic will leach into the uh, fragrance and screw it up. Personally, I haven't dealt with plastic atomizers enough to really notice a difference, um, but people that use them all the time swear by that, so it's a possibility. You can find these on eBay very easily uh, for pretty cheap. This is a, a 10 mil. I purchased these like a year and a half ago, and never filled them up because I just don't really care for the plastic ones. Again, they have a great atomizer, uh, but there are some inherent issues that I don't really like. So that's going to bring me to glass decants or glass atomizers. They come in lots of different shapes and sizes. I'll put a couple of uh, websites below where you can buy bottles if you decide you want to decant some on your own. These are easily found on eBay. This is a 10 mil glass atomizer or decant. It's really long and skinny. I don't really prefer these just because they're kind of flimsy, comparatively speaking. So if you pack this into your luggage and it's not really well protected, this could shatter right in the middle and then you have a ton of cologne or perfume just coating everything in your luggage and that's no good. So if you're wanting to go with a much larger decant, you could get this. This is a 30 mil uh, Boston Round decant, I believe it's called. Uh, this is actually my orange sanguine decant. So these are usually better for um, your summer fragrances, things like that, where you reapply a lot so you get a whole lot of juice in there. Um, we're gonna be kind of doing this one up to show how you could do a decant on your own to make sure it's not gonna leak or anything like that. Uh, this is a three milliliter and this is a 10 milliliter. This is from the same company, even though the caps are different, it's the same bottle. Uh, so if you get a three, it's gonna be this size, a 10 is this size, a five is this size, and I'll show that closer up. So let's go ahead and bring the camera in, and I'll kind of show you what you should do if you're gonna do your own decant to make sure that it's not going to leak or anything like that uh, while you travel. All right, so we've got a bottle of 3AM, everybody's favorite fragrance. Only picked it because the atomizer is awesome on that. So these are professionally done decants from the Facebook Fragrance Swap group. Uh, if you're in that group, you know who did these. This is Jardine Dimalfi and this is Zerzhov Richwood. This is a 10 mil, this is a five mil. So these are ones uh, that have a professional label. If you're making them for yourself, you don't really need that. You can just label it however you want with the label maker. You can print out a stick on label like these are, however you want to do it. It doesn't really matter because you're the one that's going to be using it. Okay, so this is a three mil that we're going to be using. Process would be the exact same for a 10 or a five or a three or a 30, however large or small you go. So the first thing that you need is this. This is Teflon tape, plumber's tape, super, super cheap. So go ahead and get a little bit of that and snip it. Now you can make this look a lot prettier uh, since I'm using it for myself, I don't really care. But you go ahead and wrap this around where the threading is on the bottle. Now if you want to, you can push it up to where you can't see it once the, uh, the lid is screwed on. That's how these ones are done. So you can see there's uh, no Teflon tape showing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna wrap this around the threading. It sticks on nice and tight. And there. You can see it's all around the, uh, the bottle. Now if you wanted to, you could take this and push the white up like this to where it's not showing and um, 
that's all just personal preference, but let me show you here kind of what I'm talking about. So now it's all pushed up there. So if you put the cap on and then screw it all the way down, it won't really be showing. Now, that's really the most important thing in terms of prepping the bottle. It's really the only thing. So you have that on, uh, and when you screw on the cap, it will make sure that there's no leakage. If it starts to leak at all, that will kind of prevent it. Now, you can go one of two ways here. You can either spray directly into the bottle from the, uh, or directly into the decant from the bottle, like so. And these little threes, it's more difficult, but yeah, you can spray it that way, just directly from bottle to bottle, or you can go onto eBay and pick up some of these plastic mini funnels, and then go ahead and just drop that in, and decant that way. So yeah, you can see, oh, no you can't. There's a little bit of uh, juice down in here that we've decanted. And that's really all there is to it. Um, you either spray directly from bottle to bottle, which I'll do that with pretty much any of the bottles, so long as the atomizer is not crap. If it's one of those atomizers that just shoots out a huge cloud, or is basically all or nothing where it's not controllable at all, then I'll go ahead and pull one of these out and use one of these. When you do use these though, be kind of careful when, when you spray it. Uh, make sure you're not just spraying as hard as possible because you'll get a lot of uh, misting that kind of pops off and you'll lose a little bit of juice that way. But yeah, that was just a few sprays and then we've got a little bit in there. So realistically, if you were taking this on vacation, you would fill this up as much as you want, label it, and you're ready to go. You can pick these up on eBay, uh, SKS bottles, um, and then on Best Bottles they have uh, more I guess fancy looking bottles, nicer looking bottles. A lot of people will splurge on those uh, because they just use the decants for themselves so they don't mind paying a little bit more per bottle because then their decants will look a little nicer when they take them on vacation. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. It's not really a daunting task and uh, it's very easily done. Uh, I guess I should bring up also that if you do decide to go with the plastic atomizers um, and you're going to use all of that juice, you know, within a couple months, three months, so that you don't deal with any uh, evaporation. The positive with those is you don't have to worry about them shattering. So I guess that is a positive over the glass. Uh, the glass, you have to make sure to take care of these, otherwise they'll break everywhere if you drop them or something. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. Hopefully this was helpful for some of you. Um, I personally just make my own decants and bring those with me or I use decants that I've bought from other people, usually through the Facebook groups, uh, Fragrance Swap in particular, people are always offering uh, decants on there. So again, if you're interested in stuff like this and you maybe want things more on the niche side that you don't have yet, that's a great place to go to be able to pick some of those up in a sample form, be able to test them and see if uh, it's something that you'd like to pick up as a full bottle. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.